was young, younger than before. I never saw the truth hanging from the door. Now I'm older, see it face to face. Now I'm older, gotta get up, clean the place. I was green, greener than the world. Where flowers grew and sunshine stood. Darker than the deep sea. Just hand me down, give me a place to be. section for my cover of Nick Drake's Place to Be. Um, first of all, I'm going to note that um, this is not like, I did not try to do this exactly the way Nick Drake does it. It would be impossible. I'm not Nick Drake. I don't have any desire to do it the exact same way Nick Drake does it. So um, this is my way doing it with uh, the guitar strung with upside down strings left-handed. Um, I'm doing it in open D. Now I know the tuning he did was kind of the equivalent of a dad gad tuning but down a full step so instead of d-a-d-g-a-d -G -A -D, it would be like c-g-c uh f-g-c i think anyway and then he capoed it up so obviously like this is going to be sl slightly lower in register than um his original recording any as well so the first thing you'll notice is it has this um it has this like slide up and then I do this kind of pull-off thing, so. Um, and I know that on the official recording it's just hammers on and pull-offs, but I kind of like the slide into it. Um, it just kind of feel it, it feels like it flows to me, and so that's kind of the way I do it. I could very easily do it as a hammer-on as well. I just prefer the sliding into it from the second to third scale degree there. So I'm doing that on the... Uh, Third string from the bottom here, second fret mm -hmm. to the fourth fret. That would be the note would be E up to F sharp. So it goes. And that repeats several times, then it goes to this chord here. This would be like a two chord. Typically in an open D tuning, when I do a two chord, which would be like an E minor, I just do root, octave, and then I add a third to it. And I leave this um, in between string muted. This time I actually put a finger on that string as well. So I do these three straight across and then I add this one on the first fret of the fourth string from the bottom and that makes kind of a two chord with some suspension action here in this string. Um, and then uh, sometimes in the verses it doesn't really go anywhere from that but on like the intro and coming out of the second half of the verse it goes to this other chord. It goes to what's essentially a four chord which um, I have here that's a second fret of your second string here, 
this is the first fret of the fourth string and the um, second fret of the fifth string. So this, this position here, that makes a four chord. That's a, that's a chord I borrowed from banjo, actually. If you do these, if you take away the uh, bottom and the top string here, these middle four strings are the same, typically the same tuning as you'd find on a banjo, which would be first, no, not first, but second inversion major. So it goes like, yeah. And then it goes to like that. So that's kind of how the intro goes. But then the verse comes and you do that stuff and then you go to a two chord. And then you go back to the that same thing. Then when the second half of the verse comes, it, you might want to call it a chorus. It's the second theme of the song, though. It goes to the same position here, but up two frets. We'll call that a three chord. That's the, but now I'm older part. But now I'm older. See it face to face. So, so the, the, the second part of the, the verse is just that, going from that three chord to that two chord. Now, instead of doing these kind of things where I mute the middle string, I like having all of the strings ringing. It gives it a, a kind of a fuller and deeper sound. And then kind of at the end, you tack on another one of those four chords. And then it goes back to the next thing. And then the only other thing worth talking about is this, the kind of the, the instrumental part where it goes... So that's, you kind of do that same, like, so you go like from scale degree two, sliding up to three, up to scale degree five. So that's second fret, fourth fret, seventh fret. And then I kind of harmonize these as parallel uh, fourths. And then it goes to this partial two chord. And then when that part ends, I add the bass notes down here and I do the like the three, two, one thing. So that's pretty much the whole thing, apart from just and then you've got the second part. Um, apart from that, it's just uh, singing it. Um, again, it's not going to be note for note the way Nick Drake did it, but again, only Nick Drake could do it the way Nick Drake did it. And so I'm not going to try to do it like that. I'm going to do it the, the way that I can do it because obviously I'm I'm a different person with a different voice and a different guitar and a different way of playing and I'm going to have to do it the way that I do it and I'm just going to try to do my best to uh, um, to make it sound as good as possible and, and do the song justice because it's a beautiful song. Thank you.